Hey, this is an anode that I made to do a little electrolysis inside of a uh, fuel tank of an old uh, home light generator that the tank was just filled with uh, rust and every time you'd clean it, even if you cleaned it with BBs and shook it around, it was still clogging up the filter because it was just so old from the 50s or so. So I just took a piece of rebar and uh, welded it at 90 degrees. And this is an old magnet off of a magnetic parts holder that uh, has a rubber coating all around it. I just drilled a hole through the rubber part in the middle and uh, epoxied this rebar at the angle that would allow it to ride inside the fuel tank without grounding out on the outside of the fuel tank. So uh, it's been working pretty well. Put it in for 24 hours and then pull it out and clean all the rust off. It uh, is amazing how much rust I'm getting off and how many days I've been doing it. It's just incredible. So I'll keep doing it until the rust is gone and uh, I'll give you updates on that. Okay, this is the fuel tank that I'm doing the electrolysis in. You can't see it's too dark, but it's just full of, full of rust. I have a battery charger there. I just keep it on the uh, 2 amp setting. And uh, here's my anode. So this is pretty much how it works. I just stick the anode in. The magnet helps keep it where I want it. And it doesn't touch any part of the tank, which is important. So I'll hook the positive up to the anode. Once again, making sure that it's not contacting any part of the tank. I've wiped off some of the paint here on the tank. I hook up the negative, and then that's uh, all there is to it. You can see we're drawing just a couple of amps. The more rust, the more water, the water temperature that changes the amperage that you're drawing. But uh, that's it. So just the opposite of electrolysis in a bucket, but uh, using the uh, rod as the anode and then the tank is the uh, is the cathode. So I'll let you know how it works out and give you some uh, video on that. Alright, this is after about 24 hours. This is probably the third or fourth time that I've cleaned off this anode. So we'll uh, take a look and see if we're still getting rust. It's quite a bit of rust still. That's just crazy. You can see that's what it started out as a piece of rebar. It's just welded to a 90 degree so it can get into the tank. You can see in the tank there's a slurry. So what I'll do is I'll clean this anode off and uh, stick it back in the tank and uh, continue doing this until I get all the rust out. Okay, here's an example of a couple of electrolysis tanks that I have just for uh, getting rust off of certain different types of uh, parts, different sizes. First one I made was a five gallon bucket and you can see there's rebar all around. The electrolysis only works on line of sight. So if you just had one bar in the tank, only that one side would uh, have the rust removed from it. So 360 degrees, it gets all the part. You can see what I did. There's rebar and welded to the outside is a bolt with a nut on it. And they're all daisy chained together to make one contact point. And then a piece of rebar just hangs along the top, and you can hang your part inside there. And that's pretty much how that works, and you're just uh, kind of held to the boundaries of the size of your tank of what you can uh, get the rust off of. 
This is my 55 gallon. You can see that there's ice in there now. It's winter. But uh, same thing, rebar with a bolt welded on and a nut. They go to the bottom of the tank and then you just hang your part from uh, the bar that goes across the top. What I use is Arm & Hammer washing soda and I just use about one tablespoon per gallon of water. Mix it together and that uh, gives you a liquid that can um, let electricity go through and uh, you can do the electrolysis process. But you can see that that's daisy chained all around as well. Hook it up to a little uh, a little uh, battery charger and uh, there you go. I'll show some video of these two working and it's amazing how much rust you can get off. But that's just uh, an example of tanks that you can make.